Devin, Devin's the hostage, man. Devin, Devin's the, the hostage keeper, rather. Is this, are we just in Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> is that what this is? There was a point where I felt like all my love for this game was Stockholm Syndrome. I was just like, ah. I've just spent so much time with it. I understand it's flawed, <laughs> but, you know, it's just trying and to do I hate its it best. Sometimes. It's trying to support its family. I can understand why it's locked me in its basement. Oh, my God. <laughs> demanding ransom from my loved ones. So, Monkai getting the HK tag? I don't know if it's a Roxas, but anyway. Um, yeah, this matchup is <clears throat> kind of sucky for Zero Not the greatest. Yeah, I mean, a, one of the big problems with it is actually something that like, it, it shows up, it readers up for Zero Suit every now and again. It's that small size. Yeah. She has to be so much more precise with where she goes, which actually means that it's easier to play around. When you are a tall character, that back air is like, you can't really know when it's coming considering it's so fast. Uh, but when you're a short character, there's basically only one specific timing if they want to actually be landing it on you. Also, the low profile helps as well. Um, yeah, as you mentioned, the small stature, but also the fact that Banana can do so much stage control. If Zirsu ifs a move, she can get hit by a banana for free, and that punish will become much more lethal. It's going to be up to Bankai to really uh, mitigate any sort of low ground pressure. He's just, oh boy, just pressing buttons. <clears throat> How many times is Dill going to have somebody up B in his face and he's just like... What is he doing? Uh, he's mind gaming him, obviously. He said... Ha uh, Bankai told me earlier when he was giving me advice after he beat me, he said half of this game is getting in someone's head. And I completely agree with that. I don't know if you can really get in Dill's head, though. He's kind of a steel trap. No, Dill definitely, I think Devin can agree. Sometimes... Sometimes you catch him sometime, like Sometimes the he breaks. <laughs> Dill is fairly systematic in the way that he plays. He keeps to his flowchart very nicely, and his solutions to problems are very simple. Um, when someone breaks that flowchart, though, it becomes a bit more difficult for him. But considering his flowchart is so strong, it, it you know, that's the main barrier you have to break through to unlock playing Dill. You know, Question, Dill. does somebody still get RCO lag if they get grabbed? Um, I actually don't know. If they still get grabbed, like, so, you know, RCO lag where somebody yeah. gets your suit up Bs and then you hit her. Right. She actually suffers the up B landing lag after getting hit next time really? she lands on the okay. ground. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's why. Uh, ooh, cool. I'd um, have to say. I mean, if she get, she's getting she, grabbed. I'd probably say no, because wouldn't she have already hit the ground by the time you get well, grabbed? Well, right there, you know, she was off stage. Yes. Like, she didn't get her jump okay. in that situation. I don't know. Very interesting. If there are any uh, lab fiends. Smash Scholars, uh, I know Zyvon could probably have the correct answer to this question because he literally knows probably everything about this game. I'll be like, yes, uh, Zero Suit's F tilt comes out frame three. Okay, that one's not frame three. I think it's, it's frame, frame six. Three. It's pretty quick, though. Oh. Yeah, he gets dunked. You don't Diddy need Kong frame. became Donkey Kong. Because he got, got dunked. More like Duty Kong. <laughs> it's. End me. Everyone's got their tank tops on today. Why do you think? Hot if I had known, venue. if I had known, I would have taken two tank tops. Guys, subscribe so we can have install a sunroof into the venue that will open up and it won't be oh, hot. Oh yes, anymore. so we'll get hot New York City sun directly yes. on us, as opposed to or so, or like a, a main central heating system. That's I don't know, or just a big bag of ice. Yes, <laughs> that everyone gets to hold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zeno becomes an ice rink. I mean, it used to be a dance studio. The thing about just deal with it. Think about Bankai they broke in, in matchups like these is that he his punish scheme is so refined. That's how they dealt with that it. That he's able out. to just clutch out these victories very nicely, despite whatever deficit he might be at. I always say that Zero Suit is pretty much never at a deficit when stocks are even. Anything can happen. Her pun her, even her low percent punishes are completely lethal. Don't roll against her as well, because you're gonna get grabbed by that uh, that whip. That was just really great awareness from Dill. If you saw there, he got grabbed, and because there was the banner right in front of him, Bankai could not get a running start to punish, and so he was like, you're going to have to jump in my face forward air. You're not going to be able to reach me. Okay, though, Bankai doing a pretty good job of controlling the skies as of now. Dill just extending his lead, though, so nicely. However, he's going to get caught off the ledge by that down, air, uh, down B, rather. I have the to say... Kick. If you've noticed, the way Dill is playing, it's i mean, it's, a, its variation on that flow chart we talked about. Yes. He's looking for the early kills. Right. He's looking, like, he's gotten so many F-Smash kills so far. 
Like, and I, like a big part of that is he's like, I don't want to deal with Bonkai having rage. I don't want to have to deal with all of a sudden, you know, he's at 130 and I'm at 40. Like, he uh, wants to avoid that situation, so he's going for the hard punishes whenever he can. Right. And the it seems is... to be working out for him, but he needs to be, like, extremely consistent on that because last game it wasn't enough. It still got, got caught. The thing about Dill is that he doesn't really leave things up to chance, typically. He will always take this the safe damage route rather than go for some crazy, like, Angel Cortez, Show Your James type stuff. He will take the safe bet. He'll do the damage. Like, he, he will always bet on the best racehorse, regardless. But, like, once again, you notice there, the way he set that up, he's like, I'm not going to go for safe damage. Yeah, I'm no. going to go for smash attack. Exactly. I think that, based on that, some wider blast zones would actually be helpful. He got the banana at that mid-range right there. See, how, see, like I mentioned before, one of Zero Suit's struggles in this matchup is that if she whiffs that grab, that banana can just extend the... Like, sometimes you'll have her grab him across the stage and you can't punish it, but the banana eliminates that problem completely. Any Anything at, a, at more of a mid-range is just punished immediately, and that that was how Dill was able to get that follow-up. So that's, that's that's why this matchup, not the greatest for Zero but guy's still holding his own fairly well. Game three, back to Smashville once again, not surprised. Still holding on to this banana. At the very least, being off stage with banana means that ben Diddy can't ledge trap you with. Right. So it's worth holding on to and just make it back to stage, and then you'll be like, okay. Still going in right now. Uh-oh, though. That platform helped him out so much. Oh, my God. When Platform Chan comes through. Was that DI? Could, could, could I don't know. I don't think that? so. I think he got... I think he just got caught. Yeah. Don't you love it when your opponent gets a critical hit? When that... Pla <laughs> <laughs> Literally the equivalent of a critical hit. It's, it's okay, because still can hit. even it right back up. Bankai has fainted. Send out your next Pokemon? It's another Bankai. I think he was predicting Dill running in, but that's going to be his main kryptonite during this set. Whiffing grabs. It's just... I mean, the thing is, like, if he's able to get the grab, that's how he got that first stock, right? The risk-reward for Zero Suit is kind of maximized in this matchup, and more so the risk than the reward. The reward kind of stays the same, but the risk... Uh, is bad. It's pretty th bad. I think a big part of this right now is going to be uh -oh, again platform no chain. No. no. Okay. Good. Um, a big part of this matchup is going to be. Oh what? Oh, uh, <laughs> catching what? out of shield punishes. I just wanted to say that that Bankai is going to have to figure out how to play around Dill in shield, and what that means grabbing him, what that means like basically catching whatever escape he's trying to go for. <gasps> Now I like I like that jab. It's frame one. It's really good for boxing out, and I'd love to see Bankai use it more in situations where he knows he's gonna get punished immediately. He's kind of going for these go bigger, go home punishes with the grab, and I'm not too sure if that's the correct style. Well, right to now, use it would absolutely him. be the correct style. Oh yeah, definitely. He's got plenty of rage. The line is fully line. The line is fully there for my boy. That dash attack was definitely a miss input. That could have been the game for Dill, but as it stands, this is the point where. Technically, either one of these guys could take it. Wow. One grab is where this ends, and one down tilt is also where this ends. So, oh, boy. Okay. Let's not forget neutral air at the ledge. That's true. Neutral air at the ledge plus uh, flip kick is incredible. Excellent roll. And Dill kind of late to react here, but getting hit by that forward air right there. Yeah. Bankai a little tight about that loss. Except reasonably so. That'll be a nice fist bump right there. Actually, I think that the platform came around to help Dill at the end there. Yeah, he didn't got neutral near the ledge, and I don't think he could have. I don't think he was able to. Uh, first of all, like he started to catch onto the rolls, but yeah. the frame data wasn't able to get the great punish. I feel like if you are confident in that he's going to roll, it might have been worth it just to go for the grab. Oh, absolutely, and you know we see Dill again just sticking to his guns, following that flow chart of his, and just making it count. He yeah. he gets the win because he 